Yes, sir. It's your boy JT, and I'm back again for another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, pretty much we're gonna be doing a playoff reroll pack opening for the LTDs that actually dropped today for the playoff part two. So before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit the like button, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys continue to show love. Really appreciate you. If you are new to the channel, drop a comment, let me know what you're new. I appreciate you as well. So um, today, uh, actually playoff. Playoffs part two dropped today. So the cards, the champions, 96 overalls, the LTDs dropped today. If you want to see all those cards, then go to my, not my previous video, but my video before that. And it'll go over all that information as far as the cards and the champions, everything. But we got two LTDs in packs that we're, that we're going to try to reroll for. And we got a AJ Brown and a Justin Reed. Let's go check out their prices really fast to see what they're going for. Um, I would think that they wouldn't be going for much to be honest with you because the market is pretty bad Like we like we are in need of training re like trainer Variety packs like we are in need of it because right now it is the market is sad yo. The market is so sad. So I know that they're gonna bring back trainer variety packs any day now for real for real because Like like I said the market is sad right now. It's, it's looking real real sad all right, so we're going to go to playoffs here, and let's check out, and this is going to be Eagles, so it's going to be A.J. Brown. Let's see what he's going for currently. Um, he is going for, okay, so he's going for right around 700K, about 7, 760. So let's check out his stats here, 96 overall, um, 95 speed, 96 jump, 94 catch, 94 catching traffic, 96 spectacular catch, 92 short route run, 96 medium, 97 deep route run. He's six foot. He's not the tallest receiver, uh, 226. Um, decent. Not a big fan, to be completely honest, but he's decent. Um, but he's going for 700K. I wasn't expecting the cars to go for 700K, though. I thought they would be a little bit cheaper. So that would be that. And then we got the Justin Reed, which is a chief. Am I skipping the chief? Yeah, chief. So he's going to be a safety um, what is he going to be going for? So he is going for right around 550, I would say. Okay. So 96 overall, Justin Reed, strong safety, 95 speed, 94 acceleration, 86 tackle, 93 play rec, 95 pursuit, 92 man coverage, 97 zone coverage, 94 power move, um, 6-1, um, pretty good zone, pretty good man coverage. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fans of these cards. Honestly, I just want to pull them so I can sell them to get coin. That's all I want. That's all I want for. So, as you can see up top, we got 100k. We got 100k training. So we're gonna see if we can roll um, and see if we can pull these cards. Because honestly, I as far as I already know that these rerolls are bad, but I want to see if I can actually pull them. So just to bring you guys some content. Like I said, I am the guinea pig. If you are new to the channel, I am the guinea pig. So I'm gonna try shit out, even though. I know it's gonna be terrible. We're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> We're gonna do it anyway and see what, what we can get out of it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go. Yeah, but back to the trainer variety packs. Yeah, the market is shit right now. Like I think everything is going for like, training right now is like one per right now. It is awful. Training is like at its worst. Like literally, like you can get trained. Like right now, the best investment I would tell anybody right now would be to invest in getting as much training as possible because we're going to be getting training variety packs back probably within a week or so. And like, I wouldn't be surprised if they like put them in the game either like Friday or, or Saturday, but it's going to be before we get some of these big promos that's coming out because we still got a uh, team of the year. We got ultimate legends and then we got uh, what are the uh, it's a few it's a it's a lot more programs that's gonna be coming of course we got the super bowl stuff so it's gonna be a lot of content so i'm pretty sure that, that they're gonna want to drop them training variety packs just to get the market a little higher than what it is because right now it's it's sitting pretty sad even if you open some of these packs that, that are out like team of the weeks or like game day packs or something as we get a 91 let's go baby um even if you open some of those like the value in those packs from the elites they, like they are so cheap it's so cheap it's no it is no like unless you like right now the only way that you're making coin honestly is if you're doing re-rolls because you already have coin or if you're just on an auction block flipping cards honestly but i would definitely be investing in in cards to get for training so when the pack does come out so you can roll that shit and make a profit off of it honestly that's that's exactly what i would be doing but yeah, that's like the smartest thing to do right now. 
but I would definitely stay away from the rerolls if you don't have no coin. If you really don't have no coin, um, I would stay away from rerolls and I would stay away from packs because right now ain't is it, it's not hitting. It is not hitting at all. But we do got some games this week. Uh, let's pull it up. We do got some games this week. Of course, you have my Cowboys, baby. As we took that W. Of course, we took that motherfucking W against Tampa Bay on Monday. So we got to play the San Francisco 49ers. And what else games we got this week? We got the, um, we got the, ooh, wait, let me pull it up here. I don't know why. I can't remember. Oh, guess we got the Giants, the Eagles, of course. You got the Cowboys, the 49ers. And then we got the Bengals and Bills. Then we got Jaguars and Chiefs. So let's go ahead and start with the Jaguars and Chiefs. So, <clears throat> That's gonna be Saturday at 4 30 p.m. Um to be completely honest with you, that game, my prediction of who of who gonna win, I think I'm gonna take the Chiefs over the Jaguars just, just because the Jaguars are a younger team, to be honest with you. Just because they're a younger team. I love the quarterback as far as Trevor Lawrence, he is that guy. Um, but uh but Patrick Mahomes is like he he he's a He's about to be a two-time MVP. So, yeah, I'm taking the Chiefs for that matchup. And then we got the Bengals and Bills. Uh, Bengals and Bills are going to be pretty interesting. Um, the safe pick would be the Bills. But I don't know. I really don't know. It all depends. It all depends what happens. Because if, if as we get another 91, I'll take that as well, too. Um, it, it depends. If Josh Allen going goes in that game throwing it throwing interceptions all game long they're probably gonna lose it and Bengals probably gonna get it but at the same time the safe pick will be the bills so i'm gonna pick the bills honestly because i feel like they have more firepower and they have a better defense honestly and then we got the giants and eagles as much as much as i want i just i i picked the giants last week to upset the upset the vikings and that came true i really uh, the safe pick for anybody would be to pick the Eagles, but I just don't think. I don't know because they coming off of a, a little bye week, so they're a little rusty a little bit. Giants on a high, on a high horse right now because they beat Minnesota. I don't know. I just feel. I just. I want the Giants to beat the Eagles because I would love that. I would love for us to go and beat the 49ers and then have a freaking home. Uh, as far as championship game. <laughs> that would be awesome, but um, I'm gonna take the Eagles just because I feel like the Eagles have more firepower and they have a better defense than the Giants. I think the Giants are gonna come back to reality <laughs> like at the wrong time, literally. So I'm gonna pick the Eagles for that, and then of course you got my Cowboys and the 49ers. I think that's that's gonna be the best. The best. I think that's gonna be with Cowboys and 49ers is probably gonna be one of the games of the year. Honestly, it's gonna be it's gonna be. I'm, I'm, of course, you know, I'm going with my Cowboys, but just to put in, put things in perspective, both teams match up very, very well. Both teams have firepower. Both teams have good defenses. It's just, it's going to be, I don't think it's going to be such a blowout as people think. I think it's going to be a very tight game. And I think it's going to come down to the wire by like a touchdown or a field goal, honestly. But I'm picking my Cowboys. You already know what it is. You know. I'm not all the confidence in, in the world with my boys. Everybody is denying them right now, talking about, oh, 49 is going to do this. Okay, we're going to see. They said all that shit, talking all that shit about Tampa Bay and what they got to do. As far as what happened on Monday, as far as they got dragged. So, so we're going to see. But that is my picks for the week, and that is pretty much it for my training. So, we didn't push nothing. Like I said, stay away from the training rerolls because they it's, 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 it's awful. But... That is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys continue to show love. I really appreciate you. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.